Good morning class. So for this week, we are going to talk about the make conditional, inverse, converse, and contrapositive statements. Last week, you have learned that the conditional statements are true if the hypothesis and conclusions are both true. If we interchange the conclusions and the hypothesis, will the resulting condition statements be true? So, in this lesson, you will be able to make the converse statement from the given conditional statement. The same way, an inverse and contrapositive statement can be derived from the conditional statement. So, once again, kung ang ating the conditional statement ay ating babalik ta rin, interchange, so it will resort to converse statement. Okay? So, for our learning test 1, you are going to do the following. Letter A, determine if the conditional statement is true. So, for example, if the triangle is equilateral, then it is equiangular. So, you are going to determine if it is true. Then, switch the hypothesis and the conclusion. For letter B, and then determine if the resulting statement is also true. So, after you switch the hypothesis and the conclusion, you are going to determine if the resulting statement is also true. And then after that, uh, write the hypothesis and uh, the conclusion in negative uh, form. So, here is the given. Okay? So, for number one, if the triangle is equilateral, then it is equiangular. Number two, if a polygon has exactly four sides, then it is a quadrilateral. For number three, if a man is honest, he does not steal. Then number four, if two angles are supplementary, then the sum of the measure of the angles is 180 degrees. Number five, if a volcano is active, then it will erupt. Okay, so for our discussion, when you switch the hypothesis and the conclusion of the conditional statement, you form the converse statement. So as I said earlier, kapag pinagpalit natin yung hypothesis and conclusion ng conditional statement, it will resort to converse statement. So for example, the conditional statement is if the triangle is equilateral, then it is equiangular. So, the converse is, so once again, ito yung ating hypothesis kanina sa conditional statement. So, siya naman natin gagawing hypothesis dito. So, conclusion siya dito sa conditional and then gagawin natin siyang hypothesis dito sa converse. Switch the two statement. So, therefore, we come up with the converse statement as if the triangle is equiangular, then it is equilateral. Okay? For number two, so the conditional statement, if a man is honest, he does not steal. So, the conclusion, he does not steal. So, therefore, gagawin natin siyang if a man does not steal, so the, here is the hypothesis, then he is an S. Okay? Now, so the conditional statement is true for number one. An equiangular triangle is always equilateral. Kasi equal yung kanyang angle, so therefore equal din yung kanyang sides. So the converse is also true. An equilateral Triangle is always equiangular. Since both conditional and converse statements are true, you can connect the phrases by if and only if. Okay? Thus, it forms a con by conditional statements. Okay ha? Kapag nilagyan na natin siya ng statement ng if and only if, yun na yung tinatawag nating by conditional statements.
Okay? So, once again, by conditional statements, for example, a triangle is equilateral if and only if it is equilangular. So, the words if and only if implies that both conditional and inverse statements are true. Okay? It implies that both conditional and inverse statements are true. Kapag meron tayong word na if and only if. Okay? So, the second example, both conditional and converse statements are true. Para ko daw sila, true. Thus, the biconditional statement is, a man is honest if and only if he does not steal. Okay? So, by given a by conditional statement, you can split it into conditional statement. And it's, so for example, here is our by conditional statements. Two angles are complementary if and only if the sum of their measure is 90 degrees. So, the conditional statement is, if two angles are complementary, complementary daw yung two angles, then, the sum of their angles are 90 degrees. So, once again, kapag ang sum ng dalawang angle ay 90 degrees, yun ay tinatawag nating complementary angles. Okay? So, the converse statement, if the sum of two angles is 90 degrees, so once again, from the conclusion in the conditional statement, Diba? The sum of their measure is 90 degrees. Okay? Then they are complementary. Ito naman ngayon ang gagawin nating conclusion doon sa converse statement. Pinag-switch lang po natin. Okay? Pinagbaligtad. So, both con the conditional and the converse statements are true. Okay? So, klaro tayo doon. Aside from forming a converse statement from conditional statement, you can also form the inverse statement. Ano ba nga ba yung tinatawag nating inverse statement? So, yung inverse statement can be formed by negating. Ibig sabihin, nilalagyan natin siya ng, uh, ano, nilalagyan natin ng don't or not. Okay? So, yun. The hypothesis and the conclusion are conditional statements. When you negate the converse statement, that is now a contrapositive statement. Okay, so wag malilito rito. Ang inverse statement, kapag nilagyan natin ng negate yung hypothesis and conclusion ng conditional statement ng conditional. From conditional, magiging inverse siya kung ine-negate mo. And then, from, ano naman, from converse, okay, from converse, kung ine-negate natin, yun naman ang tinatawag nating contra-positive statement. So, malilito doon. So, for example, a polygon na with four sides uh, is a quadrilateral. So, once again, iyon ang ating example. So, in the conditional statement, if a polygon has four, four sides, has exactly four sides, then it is quadrilateral. So, gawin muna natin siyang inverse kasi lalagyan lang natin siya ng does not. So, if a polygon does not have exactly four sides, then it is not a quadrilateral. So, yun yung inverse. Inverse from the conditional. So, gawin naman natin siyang converse. So, babalik ta rin naman natin. From uh, conclusion doon sa ating conditional, gagawin naman natin siyang hypothesis dito sa ating converse. So, if a polygon is quadrilateral, then it has exactly four sides. So, pinagbaligtad po natin siya. Na. Okay. Kapag nilagyan na natin ngayon ng negate or yung not, 
So, yun na yung contrapositive. So, if a polygon is not a quadrilateral, then it does not have exactly four sides. Okay? So, once again, wag mali nito. So, para mas madali, yung conditional, isusunod nyo lagi ay inverse. Kasi lalagyan nyo lang siya ng negation. Okay? So, then, from converse naman, galing dun sa conditional, pinagbabaligtad nyo lang yung hypothesis to conclusion and then yung conclusion to hypothesis dun sa converse. And then, lalagyan nyo rin ng negation, yun na yung contrapositive. Is that clear? Okay, so let us continue. So, two line segments of equal length are congruent. Okay, so the conditional statement, if two line segments are equal in length, then they are congruent. Then the inverse statement, lalagyan na rin natin ng negation. Not, if two line segments are not equal in length, then they are not congruent. Okay, so karuktong nito ay not congruent. Converse, babalik na rin ulit natin siya. So, if two line segments are congruent, then they have equal lengths. Okay? So, converse yun. And then, after that, lalagyan ulit natin siya ng negation. So, para maging contrapositive siya. If two line segments are not congruent, then their lengths are not equal. Okay? Not equal ang kasunod nito. Okay? So, yun lang po yung conditional, inverse, converse, and contrapositive statements. O, diba? Napakadali lang yan. Okay, so for our learning task 2, so you are going to answer the following. So, ito yung ating mga questions. Okay? For learning task 3, write each sentence as conditional, converse, inverse, and contrapositive. So, ito yun. 1 to 10 siya. So, gagawa nyo siya ng table. Okay? So, table ng conditional, converse, inverse, and contrapositive. Mas maganda, naka-table siya. Tabular. Okay? Then, for set B, determine which statements in A, both the conditional and converse statements are true. Then, write it in biconditional statement. Ano nga li yung biconditional statement? If and only if. Okay? So, kapag uh, pareho silang true, laging if and only if. Okay? So, by conditional statement yon. And then, from here, given the conditional statement, write the conditional statements and its uh, converse. So, from the given conditional, by conditional naman, gagawin siya ang conditional and uh, converse statement. Okay? So, ito yung if and uh, only if. Kapag meron ganyan, yun ay by conditional statement. Okay? So, that's all for our week 6 and 7 self-learning module of this quarter 2. So, the by conditional, inverse, converse, and contrapositive statements. Okay? Now, let us have quiz for that. Okay? So, uh, meron akong ginawang uh, sa quizzes na ganito. So, use the law of syllogism to draw a conclusion from the two given statements. So, ito yung statement 1. If you exercise regularly, then you have a healthy body. Statement 2. If you have a healthy body, then, you have more energy. Okay. And here is the options. So, what you think is the answer? So, let us see. If you exercise regularly, then you have more energy. Okay. Next. Which law of logic is this? If I clean the bathroom, 
then I don't have to do the dishes. I clean the bathroom, therefore I don't have to do the dishes. Okay? So that is the law of uh, detachment. Next, given the conditional, if Jose eats fish, then he has an allergic uh, reaction. So, which of the following is the converse? So, babalik tarin natin. So, I think uh, if Jose had an al allergic uh, reaction, then he ate fish. Let us see. Yun. Ang tamang sabat. Next, so draw a conclusion from this statement. If you live in Orlando, then you live in Florida. You live in Florida, then you live in Orlando. Okay, so you live in Florida. Given the conditional statement, if I am hungry, then I eat a which of the following is the inverse? Ano naman daw yung inverse nito? Okay. So, inverse yung kanyang babalik na na. So, here is one. If I am not hungry, then I don't eat. Okay. So, that's all for our week 6 and 7. So, ilan lang po yan sa ating mga examples. Okay, so once again, thank you for listening. So I hope na nakatulong itong ating video para sa ating learning task, performance task, and written works para sa ating week 6 and 7.